everybody tonight i'm doing my midnight rant i know i'm not sure what time you're going to get this video but let's talk about let's normalize really really speaking about the struggle of what you really had to face before you got to that place of breakthrough right so my name is latoya i talk about faith family and business and welcome to my channel welcome to my channel everybody i talk about faith family and business so anyways, I was just sitting here. I wanted to cook really quick, do something really, really light, like with some rice paper. And I thought about, wow, you know, so many people tell you about the glamorous side of their lives, but you don't really get a chance to see the true struggle, the true pain, the frustration, the aggravation, the anxiety, the depression that a person might have experienced when they were on their way to their breakthrough, right? So last year, 2020, was a very rough year for so many people. There were people that lost their lives left and right. People were frustrated, aggravated, irritated, and they were afraid. And many of us, we were forced to start a new life. That's what I believe. And last year, I know for a fact that I, it was either do or die. I could not stay in the same position that I was in um, and feel like I was going to make it. Like my children needed something different from me. My life required a new level of a push and that's exactly what I was gonna do. Let me turn this over really quick. Okay, so. Anytime that you're about to do something life-changing, you're going to have to do something that is outside of the norm, right? You're going to have to, it's going to require you to have a whole nother, I don't know, drive. It's going to be frustrating at times. You're going to have to buckle down and uh, turn off the TV. You're going to have to tell people I'll call you back and get back to them. Maybe not even later on that day. You've got to tell them, hey, I'm working on this. I should be done maybe in a few weeks. Um, even if it's phone time, cut down your phone time. Cut down your TV time. Don't, frivolous, don't spend so many frivolous hours on social media because how many people know that you can get notification after notification and that's it's like the devil um i get notifications all day i'm not sure about you all but when i'm really really focused on a goal i have to turn off my notifications because it's so tempting to go and see what that person is saying even though whatever they're saying it can wait because if it was a true emergency then they would have to call 911 not being rude but so we get, we become a slave to these notifications and then we feel like we've got to spend these, um, all this time replying back to people for what? Like it, you don't need to, you don't have to. And when you're on your way to your goals, you've got to have a level of discipline that you didn't have before because had you had that discipline, it would have already been done, right? Not saying that you're not a good person, just saying that it's gonna require you to focus. Like, um, follow one course until successful. Yeah, follow one course until successful, right? So that's focus. And that's all you're gonna have to do. You're just gonna have to plan on focus turn off your notifications. I mean, all those notifications on social media is not necessary, especially when you're trying to reach your goals. It's just not. And I know you probably gonna feel like, oh my God, I'm missing so much stuff. But after you've had the, those notifications off for a while, you're gonna feel liberated. And as you're getting closer to your goals, you're gonna say, wow, I'm really proud of myself. And that's exactly what I had to do last year. There were many times I took the kids outside in the backyard. I had on my headphones. 
I had on my headphones because I had to keep my schoolwork in my ear, constantly um, praying and listening to the messages. I went to sleep after my prayers um, with the, the schoolwork in my ears. I woke up, said my prayers, got the kids ready for e-learning and started back studying again. Like it's going to have to take a whole different level of focus and that's exactly what you've got to do. You cannot be afraid to go to that next level because that next level is going to make a better you. Look, I know you've heard it so many times before, but becoming a realtor to me was one of the more defining things because how many times have I set this thing down? How many times before did I say I was going to get it done? And I did not. Yes, I'm a single mom. Yes, there are three kids at the house that are in e-learning. Yes, we were in the middle of a pandemic, but do I hold on to those excuses and not really focus on what I needed to get done? Or do I just really knuckle down, buckle down and focus on uh, biting off bite-sized pieces each and every day, working towards those goals a little bit at a time, one step at a time, one day at a time? And that's what you have to do. You have to segment your goals. If you know that your life is very packed, you've got very little time because you've got children just like I do, or you may be dealing with a sick parent. You may be dealing with the illness. You may be dealing with um, a full-time job. But when you really, really want to get to that next level, you will find an excuse or you'll find a way. And that's the most hardcore answer I can provide for you because anybody that has ever done it before, like my daughter, she sends me Steve Harvey messages all the time. I, she she really loves his story and I really am grateful for her because when I think about it, I'm just like, hmm, he overcame all of that on very, very small amounts of money. Like one of his videos that she sent me she it, he stated that he had like he made like fifty dollars he won it at like one of these um like a comedy show he won the fifty dollars and from there that moment it was at that moment he knew that he was in the right place for his life even when nobody else um came along with him as far as agreeing with him that he was in the right place he was on the right path and to be honest with you, sometimes you're going to look crazy in front of other people. I think often, often, I think often about if I would have remained consistent even through the pain, the hurt, the frustration of going through a divorce and not really knowing what my next day was going to be like. If I would have stayed consistent on YouTube from 2010 all the way to 2021, do you know how massive my channel would have been? Just think for a moment, if I would have been able to vlog through the hurt and through the pain and the frustrations of not really knowing, that's when people really, really love you and they appreciate you because then you become more human to them. They understand that, hey, these are things that real people go through and because this person has gone through it, I can definitely make it myself. I should have been more real at that point in time. Not just real, but I should have just been more open to sharing information because there's somebody out there that would have appreciated my pain. There is an appreciation for your pain. There's an appreciation for your process. But most of the time, people are too embarrassed to share what they're really experiencing. And that's pretty much the point of this video. Like, I want you all to really, really focus. Like, we're living our lives. This is our lives, everybody. If you don't think that this is such a special occasion, what are you waiting for? The I'll be happy wins? Because those days, they never happen. They never happen. If you don't get your mind right right now, if you don't fight to get to your purpose and to your destiny, those I'll be happy when days, they never show up. It's never going to be the perfect time, the perfect opportunity. It's going to be the opportunity that you take and the time that you decide. And I hope that helps somebody. Please, if this channel is the only channel that you see out there, that's go I hope you find this channel and hope it brings some encouragement to you. 
I talk about faith, family, and business. I really, really love single moms. I want to see um, all of us get to a level of financial freedom where we don't have to depend on um, any type of handout from anybody. And you are making your bag, period. So if you have to come to this channel each and every day to find a laugh, whether it's in my YouTube shorts or if you're watching a longer video, which is a vlog, or you're watching a, a, a video like this where it's mostly a talk because mostly I'm going to have talks on this channel. Um, I'm not that good at vlogs because I will piecemeal it together and it will never, ever tell a cohesive story. Maybe I'll get better at that later on, but I'm better at talking to you and getting down to your heart. So if you like this type of content, please uh, let me know by giving me a like. All those things are free. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment below because the algorithm will pick it up and they will share out to more people and you'll be able to help other people to just kind of know that even during this time, they're not alone. This pandemic has been very hard for a lot of people. A lot of us are just taking it one day at a time. And if you do those simple things, more and more people will be able to um, get some nuggets and uh, get some encouragement so they can keep on to their goals. So I love you all. I thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Hopefully, I'll see you later on this week. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Bye-bye.